Welcome to 3 Minute Thursdays. 3 Minute Thursdays are a short breakdown of topics that you will see within your flight training here at UND. The goal is for you, the student, to have a better understanding of what it takes to become a safe, professional pilot. Hello, my name is Tyler Lauer. I'm a lead flight instructor at UND Aerospace. The next two videos in our holding series are going to encompass all of the knowledge that we have gained over the last three videos by chair flying two common instrument holds in the Grand Forks area. Think of this as sort of a preparation for your next 222 local lesson. Today, we're gonna to focus on timed holding. You've just taken off of runway 35 right. You are climbing runway heading to 3,000 feet. You are on with Grand Forks departure on 118.1. You've requested the VOR 13 low approach into Crookston with holding at Jacob. ATC responds, SU 52, proceed direct Jacob and hold northwest as published. What now? You take a quick moment to get your avionics set up. It's now time to brief the hold. You're approaching Jacob from the west. Remember the hand rule. We are behind the thumb, therefore, we are going to use a direct entry. This makes the entry procedure easy. Remember, establish your holding speed within three minutes of crossing Jacob. As we get closer to Jacob, remember the things required for holding. I use the six T's to help me. Those are twist, turn, time, throttle, and touch. We twist our heading bug to our outbound heading. On the first turn, you may have to use your best judgment on an outbound heading. You should have an idea as to what the winds are doing from your weather briefing and from the indicator on the PFD. Once we cross Jacob, we turn to our outbound leg. We can also report established in the hold. We then adjust the throttle to maintain our holding speed. We start our outbound timer as soon as we are wings level on the outbound and or inbound turn. And finally, we touch the suspend key if applicable. As I said before, the first outbound leg can kind of be a guessing game. Use the tools available to you in the cockpit to help you judge the wind and time corrections on the first outbound leg. But once you proceed inbound for the first time, you will now get your wind and time corrections for the hold. For today's scenario, the winds are 050 at 15 knots. The inbound course for the VOR 13 into Crookston is 097, and we are flying a heading of 090 to maintain your course. So we have seven degrees of wind correction from the left. Use your three times the wind correction angle for timed holding. So what's the new outbound course? How about with time? We flew outbound for one minute, and now our inbound is a minute and 20 seconds. How long should our outbound leg be? We need 21 degrees of wind correction, making the new heading 298. And with 20 extra seconds on the inbound leg, we should fly outbound for 40 seconds. This makes sense, right? In the outbound leg, we have a quartering tailwind from the right. We can expect a higher ground speed in the outbound turn and the outbound leg. Remember, our goal is to fly a standard rate turn for both the outbound and inbound turns and fly an inbound leg for one minute. Today, we put our holding knowledge to the test. This is a real life situation that you're gonna find yourself in while flying at UND. If you have already flown the VOR 13 into Crookston, you know that three minutes is about as much time as you're gonna have to get ready for this hold. Thank you for watching 3 Minute Thursdays. If you have a topic that you would like to see covered, please comment below. Remember, fly safe and we'll see you on the flight line. We're going to take us, nope, going to encompass all of the knowledge. Here we go.